These are the materials required to build the basic magnesium copper pipe cell. First mix one eighth of a tablespoon each of potassium chloride, which is a salt substitute, alum, borax, and epsom salt in a disposable container. Breaking a toothpick into thirds, make an X in the bottom of the pipe cap. Pour the mixed substrate into the pipe cap on top of the toothpicks. Cut one inch off the magnesium rod and sand the tarnish off until it has the same luster as the freshly cut end. There is more magnesium on these rods than required and they can be reused by sanding them down again. Place the magnesium electrode in the copper pipe cap and shim the electrode into place with toothpicks to prevent shorting. Ensure the magnesium hasn't shorted to the copper by checking with a resistance meter. Preheat the pot to medium-high heat and place the cell inside. When the sizzling begins, press firmly on the top of the magnesium electrode to ensure it doesn't lift. Maintain this pressure until the substrate that has bubbled over begins turning white. Remove the cell from heat and allow to cool. When cooled, remove the splints. If all of the water has evaporated from the cell, it will read as an open circuit. To fix this problem, add a drop of water between the two electrodes so it soaks into the cell. 